Hi, my name is Jillian Dank and I'm a veterinary oncologist. There's only one veterinary school in Israel and it's here at Hebrew University. There are two campuses. One is here in Beit Dagan, where we have the veterinary hospital, and one is the veterinary school, which is in Rahovo. And the schools work to school and the hospital work together to try to give the students the best veterinary education that they can. The purpose of the school is to give both veterinary training and postgraduate training. So we train the veterinary students in their veterinary school, which is four years. The fourth year is done here at this campus where the students actually spend an entire year with us learning how to be veterinarians and in addition we do postgraduate um, teaching, we do continuing education and of course one of our purposes is to do research in veterinary medicine. We have specialists in all areas in small and large animal medicine and I'm a specialist in veterinary oncology. Um, so in oncology the purpose of in veterinary oncology is to give the animals the best quality of life that we can. So we're talking about quality of life and not the length of their life. So all of the animals that come to me come to me with cancer. Actually, one in four animals will develop cancer in their lifetime, and 50% of the dogs and cats over the age of 10 will die of their cancer. So the purpose is to give them a good quality of life for as long as we can, and that's the reason that we treat. So we want these animals to be eating, drinking, and happy with their owners for as long as possible. And one of the examples of that is the dog that I'm holding right now, and her name is Boba, which in Hebrew means a doll. And she was diagnosed quite a few months ago with cancer. Um, and in these cases, the treatment that we, most of the dogs that we treat, is weekly chemotherapy. In her case, she was a little more unusual. She has lymphoma of her tongue. So what, you, what she had is that her owners all of a sudden saw that she was reluctant to eat and she was salivating a lot. Um, and so since she's come to us, she's had a huge improvement in her eating and her salivation. She's still not 100%, but we're doing everything so that she can feel as best as she can for the longest amount of possible. So this is our new emergency care facility. Um, it was actually founded about five years ago, and as you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, we have a, an emergency care unit um, staff that includes two specialists and three residents and many, many interns that work here 24 hours a day, every single day of the year, even including Yom Kippur, and they see cases from all over the country. They see, can see on a really busy day even 60 cases that get hospitalized here in one night, and they see thousands of cases per year. It's really, really busy and they work very, very hard. In addition, of course, the clinicians that work here do research, clinical research, on the cases that they see because we see many different original cases in Israel, including all sorts of intoxications and infections um, and heat stroke, which is very um, unusual in other countries, but in Israel we see it every single summer. So the reason that I love working at the school is because we have the best people that there are in Israel working together. Anytime that I have a case that comes in of a dog that has a tumor but has all sorts of other complications, I have the best people waiting outside in the corridors that I can talk to and consult with about what is the best, what is the best treatment for this dog um, because we have a specialist in everything that have the best ideas about how I can give the best care to my patient. So Bubba is getting chemotherapy today for her lymphoma. Um, in chemotherapy in dogs, we're putting the, we're giving the chemo into the vein with the butterfly. As you can see here, and we attach the chemo with a special patent so that none of us actually breathe the chemo. And as you can see, it really doesn't bother her at all. If we thought that the giving the chemo actually bothered the dogs or caused them any pain, of course we wouldn't do it. And that's it. And they go home with a pretty bandage. and come back next week.